So I'm a, a member of this church and this is our second annual craft show. And someone in the church actually mentioned, we have so many wonderful crafters in the church that we should do a show. And so that's kind of how it came about. And um, this year we have about 40 crafters. Last year we had about 30, so it is, we did expand our event this year, which is great. And yeah, we love it. And this is um, what our committee does. We're a community care committee. And so that's our purpose to try to bring the community into the church. And so we advertise all over. And a lot of the people, the word just kind of trickles around that we're having a craft show. And a lot of the people from the community just contact me and say, hey, I want a booth at the show. So that's how it came about. I do baked goods out of my home. I've been in business about five years now, so I do a little bit of everything, cakes, cookies, cake pops, pies, cupcakes, the whole nine yards. Um, I've always loved bacon, but I have, I did some orders for some friends, and they kind of convinced me to go into business. With the craft show, a friend referred me last year, so I was here last year and did really well. I told her I would definitely be interested in coming back this year. So I work with Better Way Imports to rescue, help rescue women from sex trafficking and give them a fair wage, it's fair trade, and they make all kinds of handmade goods from locally recycled items. And we are here to share their stories but also share the incredible goods that they make. I just, I love the people, I love what it stands for, that I am actually helping another woman earn a fair and honest wage and have dignity and self-respect, and it's just really important to me. Um, this craft show, actually, one of my coworkers, Jessica, she knew about it, and she and I have partnered a couple times in vendor events before, and just really liked it, so she said, hey, come on out, and I'm really thankful, actually, because. It seems like a great place. I like it. Well, I do a variety of stuff. I do a lot of crocheting and hand-painted things. Snowmen are my, my favorite. But I have some christening gowns, heirloom doilies, where I crochet their names in them, and they can pass them down over the years. And we make fresh cinnamon rolls for the craft show. We sell them at church once a month for our missions. And so they asked if I would make cinnamon rolls for the craft show, and I said, sure. So it's like, okay, you have to be here to make cinnamon rolls. Let's have a booth and put some stuff out too. This craft show is just so wonderful because it's low key, people can just shop, there's no pressure, and it really highlights this community's crafters. So local businesses and that kind of thing, which is great. So that's my favorite part of this show. There's a lot of variety here. You know, a lot of different crafters come out and check us out and have a good time. There's a lot of, like I said, a big, big variety here. So there's something for everybody. Well, it's just an awesome event. I'm just happy that everyone's participated. People put a lot of work into their crafts. And so just to see everyone be here today, I just, it's wonderful, so yeah. Well, I think you have a lot of hometown people here doing what they love the most. And of course, you'll see lots of things that no matter which craft show you go to, but there's here you'll see what people really have in their hearts.